Hello friends, it's Christy. Welcome to Bitly Ditly Has Plans. In today's video, we're doing a flip through of May in my plum paper vertical columns. So let's take a look. Alrighty friends, so starting with the index page, it's this beautiful gold color and I happen to have some leftover deco from my monthly kit. This is from Planner Kate Kit 420 Sunny Spring. So I thought I would put it over there because I thought it was kind of cute with the little sun peeking through the clouds. So that is the index and then let's flip into the highlights. So again, like I said, this is Planner Kate Kit 420 Sunny Spring. I thought this kit was adorable. So I have a little quote here. This was from Planner K. All of this is from the kit except for these icons here are from Nicole Hutch Designs. I did uh, finish watching Breaking Bad. I was watching Moon Knight but friends I couldn't get into it. Maybe I'll go back to it but it's Father's Day today so June 19th and I have not really watched much of it. I did watch El Camino, which I was glad they made because it was sort of like the epilogue to Breaking Bad and I just needed to know that Jesse was okay. Uh, and then I went back and I was watching um, the new series Reacher. So this was really good, I liked this. It was graduation month for us here in May, so I had to wrap a lot of grad gifts. I made a lot of lays. I did not get to decluttering three bags, but the good news is I didn't do it in May, but I did do it in June. And then I have not written down my memories yet because I just, I think I want to print some pictures and stuff like that from graduation and all the events that took place. So that's still to come. Sorry, friends. I just thought I should get this filmed, though, before we got too much further into June. And then just listening to news on my, in terms of my podcasts and then Up and Vanished. I was listening to the last season of that. Here's the monthly. Look at how darling this kid is. Isn't it so sweet? All of this is from the kit, except for Flea and Tick Meds. This is from Fern Creek Stickers, as well as this holiday script here. But everything else is from the deco pieces in the kit. Oh, and this holiday here is also from Fern Creek Stickers. And then these boxes. I love the new formatting that Planner K does. It's really, really nice. There's so many boxes. There's so many, like, different little, these little stars and hearts that I use to mark birthdays. It was really, really cute. Oh, here's another holiday script from Fern Creek Stickers. Sorry, friends. Kind of skipping all over. But I love this kit. So perfect for May. This was a dupe week. I was playing around with a pen that Saya gave me. We met up. So I just, I just use this as extra note paper, scrap paper, that kind of thing, as you can see here. Week one. So this is Planner Kate. This is kit 421. It's called To Our Moms. A lot of this is from the kit itself. This little to-do here is from Fern Creek Stickers. Otis Meds is from Saya Planning. The habit tracker box that I use is from Orange Umbrella Co. These habit scripts are from Saya Planning as well as the little paw print there. This little spa day came from Happy Planner. And then this is a Fern Creek Stickers script here. And then these time stickers here are from Phoenix Plants. This is also from Orange Umbrella Co., this little soccer game. And then this one here is from, this mix, mixed script here is from Nicole Hutch Designs. So I was tracking all of my little rings. I left my watch at home that day, so I didn't have anything for Got Watch. But I was doing pretty good here. Got some walks in here and here. So that's pretty good. I loved the pretty soft florals. Isn't this gorgeous? I love this box in particular. And then this was a great spa day. So my friend Gilda retired from our organization after, I think she ended up with like 33 years, 34 years, not quite 35. And so she didn't want to do like a big party like we normally would have done. Instead, just uh, her, me and our other friend, we were kind of like the closest friends that she had at work. We were allowed to take her to like have a spa day. We had a beautiful lunch. We had massages. It was really, really nice. It was good to see her because she'd been working from home since COVID and then continued to work from home. So I never really got to see her after we went back to the office. So that was really fun. Week two, I love this kit. So this is an Orange Umbrella Co. kit. It's number 136 called Garden Growth. Look at how beautiful this is. This mix of like kind of oranges and greens is so pretty. So very similar, lots of things from the kit. 
Scripts from Saya Planning, the to-do as well as the Otis Meds. This one here, this mixed one here is from Ever Changing Plans. My Habit Tracker box is Orange Umbrella Co., but the scripts are from Saya. This little quote here is from Simply Smith Stickers. I bought a couple of mixed quote sheets from them, so I threw, threw that in there because I loved it. I thought the yellow looked cute on the background of this chevron print here. Soccer Practice, that's from Phoenix Plans as well as these time stickers. Happy birthday. So these are leftover scripts from our Planner Kate monthly kit, but the rest of this is from the kit. We went to a comedy concert with my younger brother and sister-in-law. I had so much fun. I loved this kit. I just, I love the little wheelbarrow and the watering can. So cute. We had the junior family mass this week. It was so sweet. So the girls get their pin, like a little pin of their school, um, kind of like the little logo, and then they're commissioned as seniors. So it was very, very sweet. Oh, this little icon, Big Elephant Plans for Recycle Day. So that was really fun. So the juniors were commissioned as seniors. And then the following week was graduation week for my daughter, Emma. So this is another Orange Umbrella Co. kit. It's called Wildflowers, and it's kit number 119. So again, very much from a lot from the kit. This is from Nicole Hutch Designs. These are, of course, from Saya. These are also from Saya, but the tracker itself is from Orange Umbrella Co. My time stickers here this time around, these ones are new ones that I have from Saya. So I had bought the deco sheet so I could decorate this week, knowing that it was Emma's graduation. So I just kind of put some little memories in there. We had a nice little family dinner, and then they left for grad night. At 10 o'clock at night, they load up on buses and they drive down to Disneyland. They spend the whole next day at Disneyland and come home Saturday morning. So much fun for the girls. I was so grateful that all of their, basically all of their senior year was able to happen as it normally would have. We felt so sad for the girls the year before who missed out on so much. But I was so grateful that Emma got to experience everything. So... Loved this week. I love this washi. I just thought it was so pretty. And on the deco sheet, this is so cute. This little like linear deco piece right here. It made a nice little break there. I love that. I was making lays like crazy after graduation for the girls. The boys school had graduation, so I had to make a couple more lays for the boys. This commissary is from Phoenix Plans too. That's a custom that she did for me. Okay, so then the following week, this is an old Planner Kate kit. It is kit 247. I apologize because I don't know the name of it and it's no longer on her website, but I thought, I just love the floral. It was so cute and I wanted to use it up. So we had a lot going on. I had like meetings the whole Monday through Wednesday. And so like a big reception, a big celebration there. We had an MEC meeting, lots going on. I had my younger brother and my nephew's graduation on that Wednesday night. Like I was exhausted this week. All of these icons I had from the kit. We've got some cute Planner Kate Doodle Girls there. I went shopping with the girls for Emma's things for her dorms. We got like all of her linens done. So super fun there. This is from Say a Planning, of course. Same with the to-dos as well as these scripts here in my habit tracker. Um, what else do I have here? Budget time, that is from Fern Creek Stickers. This here, Planner Time, that is from Say a Planning. And then we had tickets to a AAA baseball game. So I went with Sophie, just the two of us. It was really fun as we were walking out from the game to our car. It was so cute. She said, Mama, we had a really great Mom and Me day. We haven't done that in a while. So it was so sweet. I'm so glad that I got to have that with her. And she just loved it. So really good on my steps here. Good hair. Look at that five miles that day. Oh, because we were shopping. That's why. <laughs> Always easy to have that and I had taken the day off so it was really nice oh and then my little niece Claire she promoted from sixth grade to seventh grade so she's going to be in middle school so excited so much going on in the family between all the graduations and promotions this is really cute I loved how this looks and then just a duplicate week here and then my cleaning my clean mama stuff came from the Planner Cape Monthly, so just washi and some deco left over. These stickers here are some Planner Cape stickers. And then I have my Phoenix Plans Clean Mama scripts all throughout. I did pretty good these first couple of weeks here. And then over here. And then I accidentally realized this week actually should have fallen under June. I don't know why I put it here, but I did. 
And then rotating tasks, I did pretty good there. I don't clean my window treatments. I didn't spot clean my walls in May, but friends, it's June 19th and I did do it just the other day. And then we did do a lot in the garage, of course, washing the cars and that kind of stuff. And um, we did get the cars all washed, which was good because mine was pretty dirty. So I don't know. I can't remember why this week I did not check mark all of my cleaning. I wonder if I was out. What week was that? <laughs> no, I was home. Maybe I just forgot to check mark everything, but I did I did get everything done. Let's just go ahead and check mark it. Because I will tell you, there was definitely the week that I had COVID that I did not get my chores done. So that is it for everything kind of in my main monthly life planner. Let's take a look at how my social media went. Okay, so here is May in my Erin Condren Monthly, which I use for my social media. What you do today can improve all your tomorrows. That is true. So the monthly kit is from Lemon and Honey Studios. Look at how beautiful this watercolor floral is here. I've picked up a little bit on my Instagram. I'd really kind of fallen off of the wagon the beginning of the year, but I got back up and on it. These are Planner Kate stickers here. This came with the kit. All of this kind of came with the kit, and I had all of this deco here, which is so cute with the kit. So that's the monthly. And then here is sort of my YouTube social media grid with all of my videos that I film, edit, upload, just kind of my checklist here. I added more deco in here. And then here's the listing of the kits that I used for the monthly setups and then for the weeklies. And then just using lots of the notes pages for notes and filming my videos and then just a couple of leftover pages so that's it so that is my social media and and my life planner so let's see if you can see a little bit of both of them friends Alrighty, friends that's it for this little flip through if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can catch future content on my channel thanks for watching take care bye bye